If you are looking to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in Final Cut Pro X, there are two common methods. The first and most simple method is if you are using anamorphic footage on a standard 16x9 timeline. With your anamorphic footage added to the timeline, go to Transform in the Inspector and change the Y axis to 75.19. This will de-squeeze the anamorphic footage to display correctly and leave the classic cinematic black bars at the top and bottom of your video. The second method involves creating a project that is a dedicated anamorphic size, removing the black bars on the final export. To do this, first create a new project, and next to the video option, select Custom. Here, change the resolution to 5107 by 2160. Add your footage to the timeline, and then in the Transform option, change the Scale X property to 133. This will de-squeeze your anamorphic footage, meaning that it displays properly and fits correctly within the anamorphic frame. When exporting from this timeline, make sure you are exporting in the custom anamorphic ratio of 5107 by 2160 to avoid adding the black bars on the top and bottom of your video.